Hello, my name is Matthew, and today I'm going to show you a new option in Vulkan 10 for multivariate geostatistics, and that option is Principal Component Analysis. Principal Component Analysis is a technique for transforming multiple related geologic variables into possibly fewer unrelated principal components. Those components can then be modeled independently before being back transformed into the original variables, recreating the original underlying correlations. In Vulcan 10, principal component analysis lives under geology sampling principal component analysis. You can specify a parameters file and a scenario ID, and then let's specify which data we would like to transform. In this case, we'll transform four variables from a nickel laterite deposit nickel, iron, silica, and magnesia, and we'll transform them into four principal components, although you could just as easily transform 20 input variables into 12 principal components. Let's save our transformation information, and then you can specify your standard domaining information, except in our case, let's keep everything together and just hit run forward. As you saw, even with 10,000 samples, principal component analysis is nearly instant. You can view a brief summary of the input data to ensure your sample selection is correct, and also a summary of the output components, such as their cumulative variance explained, and eigenvalues. Now we have some principal components populated in our database. We can then use them in our standard estimation or simulation workflows. Once we have populated a block model with our principal components, we can then back transform those components into our original variables. To do that, go back to principal component analysis, fill in the original parameters file and scenario ID, except this time, let's go to the backward transformation tab. In this case, select which block model you would like to transform. Let's use our existing report from earlier, and then let's specify a mapping between our principal component block model variables and our original variables which we would like to populate in our block model. Then, simply hit Run Backward and all of the blocks will be back transformed into their original units. Of course, you could just as easily back transform 12 components into the full 20 variables. A few important features of Vulcan's principal component analysis include on the forward transformation, this decorrelate only checkbox. This will perform a sort of sphering or spectral transformation which will make the components unrelated to one another, but still similar to the original variables. Also, Vulcan offers the ability to perform minimum-maximum autocorrelation factors, which is a valuable technique for not only decorrelating co-located samples, but also those some distance away, which can help with variogram reproduction, especially when simulating. Also, in the Backward Transformation tab, there are several options to improve the workflow when doing simulation. Thank you. If you have any questions, please contact your local MapTech office.